Hey guys, it's Teresa and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well or if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. I try to upload at least once a week so make sure you guys hit that bell button to get notified when I do upload a video. <laughs> video I'm going to talk to you guys about how to survive your first semester of uni. I just finished my first semester of uni and I'm currently on holidays at the moment and I go back next week. I passed all my subjects last semester and I'm so freaking happy. I wanted to film this video because I know that a lot of my viewers are still in high school and I do get questions about my transition from high school to uni because it is very very different so I have my notebook here and I wrote down a few things I wanted to share with you guys and talk to you guys about but before we get into the tips on how to survive your first semester of uni I want to talk to you guys a little bit about my transition from high school to uni going into uni I had an idea of what it was like because I had an older sister in uni but of course I was still scared you know uni is so different for everyone everyone sort of adapts to uni at a different pace so for me when I started uni it was honestly so hard for me the first three weeks of uni I hated it so much I was literally considering dropping out that's how much I didn't like it it's not that there was a lot of work or I didn't have friends to talk to it was just the vibe that I got off uni like it wasn't the thing I was studying either it was just being at uni going there like just I, I just wasn't feeling it I didn't like it 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 made me stress out I literally stressed out for no reason. I think I stressed out so much because in high school I was that student who was organized, stayed on top of her work and I really liked having a structure and sort of just knowing what was next. I loved planning. I literally had to have everything in like a specific order and I just really liked knowing what was next if that makes sense. And for me uni it just wasn't like that or at all. So the first week of uni I didn't have any tutorials. I only had lectures and I was stressing out because I didn't know how to organize for my tutorials the following week. I was stressing out because I couldn't prepare myself but you can't prepare yourself until you actually go to that class because in week two that's when you have your first tutorials and in those tutorials they they talk to you about what you're going to study your whole semester basically so i was stressing out because i didn't know what to do until week two i don't know if i'm making sense but basically i was trying to get organized for something i couldn't get organized for because i haven't even attended my class yet that's how organized i was trying to be with uni and it was stressing me out but guys if that happens to you don't stress out everything will fall into place just let it happen the first three weeks of uni you're basically just settling in so for me it was just so hard and i literally wanted to drop out i was literally talking to my mom i was like mom uni isn't for me i was talking to my sister i was like I think I want to drop out. I really don't think uni is for me. I hate it. I hate it. I was going back and forth, back and forth, considering like if I should take a semester off, take a gap year. But I stuck through it and I'm so glad that I stuck through it. After the first few weeks of uni, it got so much easier. I actually enjoyed going to uni. My number one advice is that if you're in that situation that I was in, just stick by it, try to get through at least one semester of uni and then see how you feel about it. It does get easier and you sort of start getting into a routine and you sort of know what you're doing. Like I said, everyone adapts to uni at a different rate and for me, it was longer than others. I knew people who loved uni straight away, like their first week of uni and they're like, oh my God, I love it, I love uni, this is what I wanna do, blah, blah, blah. And for me, it was like, what? like. I was literally like, what are you on about? Like, I literally go to uni and I want to cry. But not anymore. I survived my first semester of uni. Anyway, so that was my little story on transitioning from high school to uni. Now let's get into the tips that I want to talk to you guys about. I feel like these tips are things that I would have wanted to know going into uni from high school. So that's why I want to talk to you guys about it today. First tip I have to survive your first semester of uni is attending orientation week. So orientation week is the week before your actual classes. So basically orientation week is where you get to know 
your uni, I guess. So during orientation week or like O week, what they call it, I went twice. My advice for you guys is to go as much as you can. I sort of regret only going twice. So when you attend your orientation week or your orientation day, whatever, I feel like it's really important to go and explore your campus. I go to UNSW and guys, my uni, like I remember the first day I went to uni, it was so big. I'm like, where the hell am I? But I'm glad that I explored my uni during orientation week. During O week at my uni, they were doing like timetable tours and I knew that I wanted to take a timetable. Uh, I knew that I wanted to take a timetable tour because I would have been like so clueless. So yeah, I did a timetable tour and I had like a tour guide girl like she was honestly so sweet she took me around to all my classes for that semester that helped me so much the following week because if I didn't do that campus tour I would have been so freaking clueless as to where my classes were just make sure you go and explore all the buildings all the areas at uni and I guess it will make you feel more comfortable and more confident going to uni the following week before we get into tip number two I just want to say that you should get your uni ID before orientation day because the line during orientation day for uni IDs, it was so freaking long and I went the week before O week and there was like no line. I just like walked into the library, took my photo, got my ID and left. But during orientation week, the line guys, it was like, I kind of explained how long it was. It was like literally like a hundred people in a line and I was like, God bless. I freaking got my uni ID the day before because it would have just wasted so much of your time. Now on tip number two on how to survive your first semester of uni, I'm going to be talking about societies. At my uni, there are so many freaking societies. I highly recommend joining societies because it's where you can make friends or even joining the committee. I reckon joining the committee is awesome as well because you're sort of a part of a group, I would say. But I'm not a part of any committees. I'm only a part of societies. I'm currently a part of three societies and I joined up during orientation week because during orientation week, they had like all these stands and you just go up and sign up I guess and for some societies you had to like pay like five dollars I feel like it's so worth it because you get to go to like events for free you get like free food and free alcohol not that alcohol is good for you but you just get like all these freebies right so I reckon paying five dollars is worth it I reckon joining societies is a good idea because you can like meet new people and it's sort of just like the uni life like getting the whole experience sort of thing. First society I signed up to was at VSA. So it's like a Vietnamese society. And I joined up because like literally I've heard so many good things about it and all my friends joined up as well. For VSA, I paid $5 and each week they hold like a food event where you get like free food so the five dollars is pretty worth it if you do go to those events and these events are like during uni and i've also gone to a vsa party it was in one of my tea diaries where i went on a boat party not only joining societies but you can also join committees i'm not a part of any committees but shanice is a part of the vsa committee she goes to macquarie and she freaking loves the committee so much they literally go to camps and they do so many activities Activities as a committee so I feel like if you really want to be a part of like a group sort of thing make sure you join committees not just societies another thing I signed up for was the iHeart uni so iHeart is basically like a partying society I don't know if I consider iHeart as a society I'm not too sure that they hold like the white and black party i didn't go to the white party it was earlier during the year and i was just i wasn't 18 yet and they hold parties at like clubs and they also had black party last month guys i bought my ticket i had an outfit and i was literally so sick that day and i missed out so the last society i'm a part of is the art society so it's basically the same thing as vsa every week they have like this event thing where you can just go to this cafe place and hang out, have some drinks. I've only gone like once because it was after my last tutorial and I was just so not bothered to stay back at uni. So I hardly went to that. They're holding a ball in two weeks time and I'm going to that. It's basically going to be like formal part two. I'm so freaking excited. So make sure you guys stay tuned for two videos. I'm planning on filming a get ready with me and a vlog. It's also where I had my year 12 formal. So guys, I'm so freaking excited. I really recommend joining um, societies or even joining committees. I feel like joining committees is better because you actually get to meet a group of people that you sort of become close with. 
Now on to the third tip of how to survive your first semester of uni. I'm going to be talking about making friends. Basically, when you start uni as a first year student, the majority of the people are in the same boat. You're all trying to make new friends. It's not like high school where you see the same people every single day. So at the moment, I have a group of friends that I met and I am honestly, I'm like freaking in love with them. We not only hang out at uni, but we go out as well, not just like at uni. So the best way to make friends at uni is during your tutorials. Tutorials are basically a class of like, 20 25 people that you see every single week during your whole semester so i remember in week two when tutorials started i was actually so scared that i wasn't gonna make any friends so instead of waiting for people to approach me i approached them first and i thought that was the best way to make friends so i remember in week two i had like three tutorials in one day and in each tutorial at the beginning i sort of went early ish and I just approached people. I was like, oh, hey, are you doing like Arts 1090? And they would say yes, because like they're standing near the classroom. And I would be like, oh, no way, me too. Nice to meet you, I'm Teresa. And like, they would introduce themselves and then we would start talking. I would say like, oh, are you a first year, blah, blah. And when they said they were a first year, like guys, you are basically in the same boat, so don't be scared. And then yeah, I would get to know them. And then when we walked into the classroom, you would obviously sit with them because you met them. So yeah, that's how I made friends at uni. And I feel like it's also good to make friends in your tutorials because you guys can help each other during exams, during assignments. And also in semester one, I had a lot of group work. Obviously you would want to do group work with someone you're already friends with. So I found that all my group work that I did, it was quite easy because you sort of get along with who you're working with because they're your friend, obviously. And also with the friends that I made in my tutorials, they had friends as well. So then I sort of got introduced to their friends and that's how I'm friends with the group I'm friends with now. Wow, that was like a tongue twister. So the fourth tip I have for you guys for surviving your first semester of uni is studying. During high school, I already had the habit of studying and writing study notes, keeping updated and whatnot. But of course, during uni, I sort of got lazy. During my lectures, I literally zoned out. My tip for you guys is to keep updated with your notes. During my finals, I was literally writing notes like a few days before my exam. I wasn't even studying, I was just writing notes. So that's what I've learned from semester one and going into semester two next week. I wanna try to keep updated with all my study notes so I'm not so crammed up during finals. In uni, you don't have that push that the teachers give you in high school like I remember in high school your teachers would push you so much to like get your assignment done you know you could email them and just get them to check it over and over and they would sort of keep you motivated at uni you literally have to motivate yourself to study your tutor's not going to be there for you every single day saying oh have you done your work have you done this have you done that it's not like high school because I remember in high school like my teachers would push us so much to get our work done at uni if you miss your submission date they're literally just gonna start taking off your marks. With studying, I found it really helpful when you work with a team. So I remember during finals, like a week before my final exams, a group of friends that I have, we all did like a Google Docs and we were just like sending our notes. But so my camera just died and I'm so sorry if it moved. Those are the main tips I have for surviving your first semester of uni. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. And that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up to let me know and feel free to leave anything in the comment section. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.